Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So let's try to deploy something and uh, see that, that dem demo on the Kamunda cockpit. Let's just convert this into the user task and just deploy this user task and just change this name to something meaningful. Let's say user task and wrong with that user. Okay, and we'll just deploy it to the same Kamunda engine. It is deployed, deployment succeeded. Now we will go to our processes. And here we can see new user task is created. I mean, we change the, the process key definition. So definition key is now user task. And this is a user task. Now, how can I start it? I mean, there is a way, okay, you can start this particular process externally through the REST APIs. That also I will talk about it. You can hit actually just a postman and start this process. Or what you can do is you can go to task list and try this process by uh, executing it. So you can start any process which are already deployed. Let's see user task and you can also add some business key. I mean this is nothing but an add variable before starting a process. So before starting a process your process workflow may be dependent on some data which is coming from somewhere. So if you are testing or uh, executing a particular process independently, then that's why you need to add some data. Okay, so we are on the task list. Here we should see the user task. Let's see first go to the cockpit. And now we should see one user task. And this process is currently running. User task, okay. this process is currently running and you can see we started the task but we, there is a user task so it will stop here it will not uh, just start and just stop start and close right because there is a user task so manually you have to intervene and in this user task you go there and you have to manually claim this and complete this user task and while claiming it you can actually add a variable also some test variable okay I am adding uh, name type is a string and value is tk sharma again i will complete this particular task and then i can go to the cockpit and can see now we don't have that task running only 99 count is decreased and oh why i'm opening this again a different one this is a user task now user task is not running because this task is completed right so a simple diagram where we have a user task we deployed it and we started the process which we, we claim uh, this particular user task we mark this user task complete and the task is done okay so i mean now we have done a lot of uh, things uh, for the beginner level i mean we started this uh, kamunda using docker compose we installed a kamunda modeler and we were writing the diagram we were deploying it to the kamunda engine then executing the executing the workflow using uh, the task list we are able to see all the workflow which are deployed right and we are able to see the user task all the instances running right so you can see there are six independent instance running for this invoice receipt there is no active instance running because we started it and that is already completed your instance will be running if there is a user manual task or your task is waiting for some particular input or your task uh, had, has received some error. In that particular sense, your process will be running, otherwise it will start and it will complete and your Kamunda will be clean. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks everyone. Let's explore more in the coming videos.